We're going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions, which is different than multiplying and dividing. So the key to adding and subtracting is that you have to find a common denominator. And to speed up the process, you can find the least common denominator, but really just to do the problem, you need to find a common denominator and then you need to know how to put things in lowest terms. So, for example, if we have 3 fourths plus 7 tenths. So the key to this is you have to make the denominator, which is the bottom number in the fraction, the same in order to add. So you need to find a number that both of these can multiply into. Well, the simplest way to do that is simply to multiply them together. So you just do 4 times 10, which is 40. So now that's going to be the denominator for each of your fractions. You're going to transform these into these two fractions. So how did we get from 4 to 40? Well, we multiplied it by 10. So if we're going to multiply the denominator by 10, we have to multiply the numerator by 10 in order for this fraction to stay the same. So 3 times 10 is 30. How did we get from 10 to 40? Well, we multiplied it by 4. So if we multiply the denominator by 4, we have to multiply the numerator by 4 in order to keep these fractions equal. So 7 times 4 is 28. So now that we have a common denominator, when you're adding fractions, you just leave the denominator the same. So just that's what your denominator is going to be. And then you just add. So it's 30 plus 28 over 40, which is 58. 40ths. Now this is not in lowest terms and on the test they're probably going to have it in lowest terms. So if you don't know how to put this in lowest terms you need to watch the video on Facebook about fractions putting things in simplified form or lowest terms. But quickly we can see that we can divide uh, the 58 and the 40 by 2. So we're going to divide by 2 and we end up with 29 over 20. This is now in lowest terms, but your answer might be an improper frac. This is an improper fraction. It might not be an improper fraction terms. It might be a mixed number. So if you don't know how to make this into a mixed number, you need to watch the video on Facebook about fractions, improper fractions, and mixed numbers. So we'll make this into a mixed number of 1 and 9 twentieths. So that's your answer. If it's in improper fraction terms, this is your answer. So again, the key, find a common denominator. The way you can do that is simply multiply your denominators together. And then you have to transform this fraction into this fraction. So what did we do with 4 to get 40? We multiplied it by 10. So now I have to multiply 3 by 30, or 3 by 10, so we get 30. How did we get 10 to 40? We multiplied this by 4. So now we have to multiply this by 4. Set 4 times 7 is 28. Then you just keep this denominator in your answer and you just add straight across and then make sure your answer is in lowest terms and a mixed number if that's appropriate. Now let me show you another way to do this is if you can recognize that hey both 4 and 10 will both go into 20 evenly so then you can make your common denominator 20. How do you get from 4 to 20? You multiply by 5 so now we have to multiply 3 by 5, which is 15. How do you get from 10 to 20? You multiply by 2. So now we need to multiply 7 by 2, which is 14. Again, keep the same denominator. Add these two together, 29 twentieths or 1 and 9 twentieths. That's the same answer we got before, but this was faster because we found the least common denominator, the lowest number, so that when we got to our answer, we didn't have to reduce it into simplest terms. Either way is fine to do. Just remember, if you can't figure out immediately what is the least common denominator, just multiply them together, but then you're probably going to have to simplify. We'll do another one. 5 ninths plus 8 thirteenths. So again, we need to find a common denominator. We're just going to multiply 9 times 13, which is 117. 
since we multiplied 9 times 13, we have to multiply 5 times 13, so we get 65. Since we multiplied 13 times 9 to get this, we have to multiply 8 times 9, and we get 72. And we end up with an answer of 137 over 117. Now this is actually already in reduced terms. So now we just might need to make it into a mixed number, which would be 1 and 20 1 17ths. Subtraction is the same way. You just change the addition sign to a subtraction sign. So if we have 5 eighths minus 1 fourth, so find a common denominator. We'll multiply these two together. 8 times 4 is 32. We multiplied 8 by 4 to get this, so we need to multiply 5 times 4. We multiplied 4 times 8 to get this, so we need to multiply 1 times 8. And we get 12 30 seconds. This is not in lowest terms, so we can start out by dividing by 2. We immediately see both of them can be divided by 2. And we'll come down here. We're going to get uh, 6 sixteenths. This is still not in lowest terms. We divide by 2, divide by 2, and we get 3 eighths. So that's our final answer. The other way that you could do this, here we just multiplied these together to get a common denominator. But if you immediately recognize, hey, both of these numbers go into 8 evenly, then you can make a common denominator 8. We multiply 8 times 1 to get 8, so we multiply 5 times 1. We multiply 4 times 2 to get 8, so we multiply 1 times 2, and we get 3 eighths. So again, we got the same answer. This was faster because we found the least common denominator rather than just a random common denominator.